Well, a day after President Biden proposed bolstering police departments as homicides and other violent crimes surge, the city of Oakland is considering significant cuts to its police force. The council is reviewing a city budget today that redirects more than $17 million from the police department to another department called violence prevention. It was created about a year ago to help improve public safety. Our crime reporter Henry Lee is here now with more on this contentious debate today. Henry. Well, Heather, there's major disagreement over how and where money should be spent when it comes to tackling crime. Now, some say the government should be spending money on violence prevention programs, but others say more officers are the way to go. Community leaders say they want Alameda County officials to declare gun violence a public health emergency. They spoke at Lake Merritt in Oakland, where just days earlier a man was killed and seven other victims were hurt during a shooting involving San Francisco gang members. The trauma, the, the pain, and the scourge of violence that is interpersonal in nature but is fueled by the trauma of our people. We have girls being gunned down in these streets. The frequency of shootings and the loss of life is getting to the point where we're having to become desensitized just to cope. As they spoke, the Oakland City Council held a special virtual meeting to discuss amendments to the proposed budget involving the police department. Council President Nikki Fortunato Bass wants to shift 17 million dollars away from the police and use it for violence prevention programs. She and others on the council want to have civilian mobile response teams, not police officers, handle nonviolent mental health calls. We are investing in alternative responses and the basics of what keeps Oaklanders secure. But Oakland Mayor Libby Sheff says she wants to keep police staffing from dipping below the current 717 officers. She says Bass's proposal would decimate 911 response. The council is at odds over how many police academies should be funded over the next two years. Back at Lake Merritt, community organizers say the county should spend any reserve funds on intervention programs. The language that people use a lot of times for those reserves is, it's a rainy day fund. Well, it's raining. It's raining. It's storming. It's tornado, typhoon, hurricane, whatever you want to say about it, our communities need those resources now. So the council heard from more than 100 people during four hours of public comment. They've just started their discussions that talk about everything from graduation rates and budget for the police. Now, it's unclear if the vote uh, will actually happen today. If they don't, they must uh, reach an agreement and pass a budget by June 30th. Reporting live, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, so really, they are definitely under uh, an upcoming deadline here, Henry. What about room for compromise? Is there any alternative that's being put, put forth amongst council members? Yeah, the mayor, Mayor Schaff, wanted six academies over the next two years. Council President Bass wants four. Now, the mayor says the council member Lauren Taylor has a compromise, is what she's calling it, by having three academies the first year. So they're all... Uh, crunching numbers and talking over that as we speak. All right, as you mentioned, the debate continues, and if they don't make that vote today, they'll just have a few days next Tuesday to, to make that vote happen. Henry, thank you.